Uh, good morning, boys and girls. Top of the morning to you. I think we got to get busy today again. Uh, what, what do we got going on here? 61 on the inside of the shack and 59 on the outside of the shack, huh? Yeah, something happened yesterday. Something happened yesterday. I can't believe it. Uh, <laughs> today is, uh, today's Sunday. Yeah, the 14th. Is it not? Do I even know what day it is anymore, guys? Do I even know what day it is? Yes, I do. It's the 14th, Sunday the 14th. I caged them here, right? And they're supposed to hatch here. Well, guess when they hatched, guys? Yesterday evening right here. So obviously, Steve-O has some elderly larva that I was harvesting from my breeder colony to put in here. Let's see what we got today. Let's see what Steve-O's got today. Look at here, guys. Yeah. Now I got four here. Ah, look at here. Here's one here that's trying to get out. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. And let's pull this out. Oh, she's walking around in here. Okay. She's walking around in here. So what I can do is just let her walk right down in there like that. Like so. I'm going to tear this off. There's no residual royal jelly. Okay. So yeah, there she is right there. Another one. These are these girls over here, they all hatched yesterday. It's unbelievable. I walked out here. Had a gut feeling. You know how you get those gut feelings, guys, you know? I had a gut feeling. I said, you know, I better go in the shack and check them queens. So I put my spotlight in the through the door here, and there was one out. And then to top it all off, there's one running around inside the incubator. She hatched and got out, and I don't know how she got out, but she got out. Obviously, she got out before I caged them. And she was running around and I couldn't find her. And she ran. I opened the door and she was in between that light and the wall. So I tried to herd her out. And she was a quick one. She ran out here real quick and ran underneath here. And I fooled around there for quite a bit trying to get her out. And I finally said to heck with it. Let's see what these girls are doing here. I don't think these girls, they may hatch. This may have been a younger larva in here. Let's check all these here. No, that one's still sealed up good. This one's sealed up good. So we've got four here possible will hatch. Possibly. Okay. So on this little device here, with my strings, I put them in this way and I turn them. I put them in like this because they're skinnier this way, and then I turn them looking outward so I can see what's going on. So we've got uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven queens. I've got to make up. But some nice sized queens, guys. There's some nice looking queens. Now, it was funny. Last season in the fall, I had some black queens in here. I got a couple of black queens, but they never made it. They never made it. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to call this as hatch day on my wheel here. 
And what I want to do is write down here. This is the 14th. So I'm going to put uh, in nuke. Actually, I put the uh, the star here. If I can find it here. Where in the heck's my star here? Grab, cap, right here. Right here is my star on that wheel. Right there. I'm going to put that on the 14th right there. Right there. Line it up on the 14th. Now I'm going to come out here to laying. And I'm going to put, uh, check, uh, I'm going to mark my hives out there with a felt pen. And I'm going to put check 325. 325 that should be laying so we can go a little further than that you know you could kick it out another few few days but that's what I'll do I'll put check on 325 these girls here and I'll mark that on top of the colony so I don't know where that little rascal queen went to so we will give these girls a bit of feed here. One little drop on the on the cage here. They all get a drop of honey. They all get a drop of honey and they're gonna get a drop of water. And uh We'll do this again this evening before I, go, before I check in for the night. We'll give them a shot of food and a, and a shot of water. And today I got to get busy here and make up seven two frame nooks. So I just take one drop of water put on there. Very simple. If you lay the cage over like I'm doing here, it works pretty good. You can see the queens. They're, they're eating away there at that honey. They're hungry. So yeah, they're all starting to feed. Yeah, hopefully these other three here will hatch. Tomorrow we will leave those we'll leave those two framers we'll leave them two framers uh, for 24 hours and let them think about we don't have a queen and then we'll come back in we'll do the same little thing we did last time we'll use a spritzer bottle sugar water one to one with a, just a little bit of a vanilla extract in it and uh, we'll spray the bees down in the hive smoke them back squirt them down a little bit don't get too nuts with it and then open the cage let her crawl out and give her a little shot I got 80% on this last run so I don't think I'm going to do any more grafting for a little bit I'm going to see where I stand with these girls here everything I've got existing let them pump up and uh, make some resources try to get them into fives let them fatten up the fives a little bit and then we'll see how it goes I'm thinking maybe uh I don't know. I may do another. Uh, maybe do another graft in April, new moon in April, and see how that goes. All right. So maybe I'll take you along, and we'll uh, bust up some more of these colonies and make some more nooks today, because you need bee work. All right. Later. Hey guys, that's that one of Martin's queens there. I'm over at this other bee yard right now, and she hasn't she hasn't settled into any serious egg laying yet. But uh, we'll put her back together here. That one hive there, that one hive there was on the end. 
it uh, I've got a queen it, it wasn't doing nothing I didn't see any sign of a queen and so we're gonna give this girl here another week so she can blow this out and then I'll stack another two framer on top of this and keep them going keep your beetle traps in here guys keep fresh beetle traps in all your hives change them out monthly change all these traps out monthly yeah these hives are fine they've made it I got more sugar water to put on these guys I'll do that in a minute here object here today is to get to see what I can rob out of these resources for two framers I got all those two framers in the back of the truck there ready to load up so yeah we're moving some we're moving some uh, virgin queens and we're also setting up some uh, more two framers got to keep the ball rolling guys there she is guys right there right there brand new queen just hatched I heard her piping she's going it sound like a radio signal pretty cool sound guys pretty cool sound yeah she's brand new she just popped out down there guys she just popped out that hive may have swarmed and I've got a bunch of cells in here I got a bunch of cells going on here Let's lid her up and get her quiet because she's brand new. This one has queen cells in it and there's a queen cell left over here. Plus I've got this, plus I've got this thing slap full, this medium on top here. This has got a queen cell in it. I'm going to put this in the center. I'm going to reassemble this hive. And let them hatch out another one here. So I've, I've actually, without even doing any grafting or nothing on this colony here, I've made three colonies right here by just fooling around with these uh, queen cells. They have the same scenario over here. But I've got two boxes of deeps here, so I've got ten frames to play with there. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Let me get a couple frames. Let me get a couple of frames here and finish out this box. Be listening guys for those queens and virgins. They'll start piping kind of it's kind of weird it's like a radio it's kind of like a sound like a radio signal kind of it's pretty cool the sound the sound is beep 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 if you listen for it you can hear it when these girls pop out a lot of times too when you got a bunch of queens in a bank they do that they're all chiming off at one time. Yeah, she's already uh, looked like she's gone around and ripped out. Looks like she's already gone around and ripped out some cells. So she's going to work. She looks carniolan too. It's like a carniolan queen. So I've got, yeah, I've got three boxes of bugs here, and I haven't needed to do anything. I'm going to cap this off. I'm going to put a fresh beetle barn in here. I'm going to cap this baby off and uh, put a jar feed on it. 
I'm going to come back in a month. And I'll bet you we're going to be full of bees here. I'll bet she's going to be laying her heart out. Okay, guys, I'm tearing down this next box here. And look at that big old fatty I found right on the bottom. Yeah. Guess what Steve-O's going to do. He's going to make another hive of bees right here, fellas. Real quick. Real quick. What else can you give us, baby girl? Come on now. Work with old Steve-O, please. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that pattern on that puppy. Oh, yeah. Look at that queen cell right there, guys. Look at that queen cell right there. Look at that queen cell there. Swarm cells, guys, make excellent hives. So I've already got I've already got one queen cell in here. Guess where this one's going? Right next door. And I built these I built these high enough with that 10 inch to where you can put a queen cell down in there and not get smashed on the bottom floor. So be thinking of that, guys. Look at this thing, man. I'm telling you. This is beautiful, guys. Look for queen cells. This is the time of year they're going to blow up on you. This is the time of year they're going to blow up and boogie out of town. Keep looking. Okay, guys. My timing was just about perfect on this colony here. She's just about perfect. There's, there's a virgin running around on this frame here. This is all I'm going to rob here. Which is fine. I've only got to add one, two, three frames of stock from my other yard. So this is cool. We've, we've knocked this hive down. We've got all brand new stuff in here. We've got plenty of resources for this girl to carry on. I love it when a plan comes together, guys. All right, I got some brand new frames here, freshly waxed. Thank you very much, Man Lake. I love you people. Okay, that one needs a trap. I have my traps here in a bucket. This ain't a bad way to carry them, guys. Get a dollar store bucket, make up a bunch of your beetle barns, bait them up, keep them in here. I've got another one at the house that's got the uh, plugged ones that needs to be changed out and cleaned. There they are, there they are, there. Bada bing, a new one. Lid. We're going to come back on these hives, guys, on 3, 331, on all these guys. Check on 331, all these puppies. I've got a 229, but we're going to come back here. Check them.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's how we're going to roll here, guys. Just give them some syrup. I carry my syrup in an extra bucket here. I did a nice rob here on this stuff. Love it when a plan comes together. Might as well just keep robbing and robbing guys resources because there's no need to let money fly off to the swamp, okay? Alrighty guys, got the girls back here set up, all the two framers here, made up at that other yard, put the screens down on them, then when I got here I was able to lift them up, let them go flying, because I'm four miles from that other site, so there's no way these bees are going to go back to that other site. We'll check all these bees on 331, oh, I've got like six, I've got six virgins that's got to be put in. Some have queen, this one had a queen, that one had a queen cell, and there were, I think there was three of them had queen cells, but I'm going to shove, I've got I think six virgins left in there. I had a couple of buddies come by and get some, and um, so I'm going to put the rest in here, and we'll do the same thing. We'll do the spritz with uh, sugar, water, and vanilla and get them in there. And yeah, I haven't heard a queen uh, pipe in quite a while, <laughs> that little virgin, boy, she was just... Beep, 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 beep. Where are you, girl? And I'm hunting and hunting. I flipped the, flipped the frame over. I'm looking. And then the sound kind of faded away. So I knew she was on the other side. Flipped it over. And I hunted. And pretty soon, boom, she popped right out and was going along there. And I could check her out. The bees are a little pissy here. Uh, they're nervous. They don't, you know, they're disoriented. But they'll settle down a day or two. Uh, yeah, everything will be cool. I, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.